but they should remember their bodies only produce enough to enable them to utilize a certain amount of carbohydrates. If they take more, then the extra will not be used up, and consequently, their urines will give sugar reactions. So you can see that by testing your urine at regular intervals, you can tell when you are taking too much carbohydrate in your diet, because it will give your urine test a sugar reaction. On the other hand, those taking insulin will find that too little food, or too much insulin, will bring about the symptoms of insulin overdosage, such as the feeling of weakness, shakiness of the hands and knees, palpitations of the heart, a hungry, sinking feeling in the pit of the stomach, tingling, especially of the lips and tongue, and there may also be some mental vagueness, confusion, and sweating. Thus, those on insulin should show an occasional trace of sugar in their urine test. By this regular testing of your urine, you will know where you are with your diabetes and will be able to keep the scales balanced. Every diabetic taking insulin should always consult his doctor or clinic as to when he should test his urine, since the times vary with the kind of diet and the type of insulin he is taking. This applies equally to the diabetic not on insulin since the only early check on the state of his diabetes is the amount and the time sugar is passed in his urine. There are special times when all diabetics should test their urine, when not feeling well, when off work, especially when suffering from boils, sore throat or flu, or stomach upsets with diarrhea and vomiting, or whenever the normal daily habits are changed, a new job, unusually heavy exercise at holiday time or at weekends. Always write down your findings and take them to your clinic or doctor when you visit them so that your doctor will know the state of your diabetes. There are two methods of testing for sugar in your urine, Benedict and Clinitest. You will probably use one or the other. Benedict test. Be sure you have everything you want ready. A bottle of reagent, a test tube, dropper, teaspoon, small saucepan, and the bottle of urine you want to test. Fill the saucepan with cold water and light the gas. Put a teaspoonful of Benedict reagent into the test tube. the urine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drops. Shake the tube and put it into the saucepan, allowing the water to boil for at least five minutes. At the end of five minutes boiling, take the test tube out of the saucepan and it may look like this, indicating a little sugar. Be sure to write down the date, time, and result. It may show a negative result, a negligible amount of sugar like this, or a great deal like this. For clinitus, again, have everything you want ready. Some cold water, your urine, and your clinitus outfit, which contains a bottle of clinitus tablets, a test tube that hooks onto the side of the case, a dropper, and color chart. Using the dropper, Take up some urine from the bottle, and keeping the dropper straight, put one, two, three, 
for five drops in the test tube. Rinse the dropper, filling it with cold water, then add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten drops of water to the urine. Empty the dropper and wipe your fingers dry. Take one tablet from the bottle and drop it into the test tube. Replacing the caps tightly. And then watch the contents of the tube bubble. The test takes about 15 seconds to work and you must watch it for that time. Now wait a further 15 seconds, gently shake the tube, then compare the result with your color chart. Turn the chart over, and on the back you will find a place to write down your findings. In this case, a strong positive result. But it may have shown no sugar at all, or a trace, or a strong positive as before. Going to your doctor or clinic and regularly testing your urine is really like taking your temperature when you have a cold. It is a means of assessing your health in relation to your diabetes. And maintaining that essential balance between the carbohydrates you eat and the insulin your body needs to use them.